In today's video, I will share with you guys the three ways that I usually follow to gain more strength and also make progress faster in calisthenics. The ways I'm referring to is about leveling up our current basic exercises such as the push-ups, pull-ups, and some abs exercises so that they will become even more effective. For each training type, there will be many ways to advance so they will be suitable for your current training level, and each of them will also provide you with different benefits, for example, targeting many muscle groups and contributing to further training in calisthenics. Okay, so first, let's level up our regular push-up, and there will be three ways to do so. First is the pseudo push-up. This is one of my favorite push exercises because besides increasing a lot of your strength, it is also one of the main movements that supports you when striving for the punch out, which is an advanced skill in further training. When doing the pseudo push-up, your hands are in a position where they are very close to your waistline. This is different from the regular way of doing push-up because your hands are in the upper part of your body, and so you are only training with around half of your body weight. Now try to reach your hands closer to the center of your body, it will become much more challenging because now you are working with almost your entire body weight. So for those of you who have just started your journey, I would suggest you first master the regular push-up, and then you can try out the slow push-up by leaning more and more forward until you reach your waistline. And to have the most effectiveness out of this exercise, you will also have to do it in the correct way, which is to go all the way down and up, lock your arms and push your back into the projected form and also maintain your body straight and your hands in the same position when doing the movement. That are a lot of goals for one single exercise, however, in order to make progress faster, it is about the quality over quantity. If you can do it for only 2-3 to three reps of good form, it is still better than 10 reps of bad form. And for the pseudo push-up, I would recommend you rotate your hands to a 45 degree angle like this so you can lean forward easier and avoid wrist pain. The second way to level up our regular push-up is to train with the dips. This is also one of the exercises that will focus on building your strength faster since you will also have to work with your whole body weight. When doing the dips, your shoulders should be in a position where it is pushed all the way up, then go down until your arms reach a 90 degree angle and always maintain your body straight. Doing in this regular way will mainly target your shoulders, chest, and triceps. If you lean forward a bit and do the movement, now it will focus more on your shoulder muscles, and you can also try to lean backward a bit when going down to build more of your triceps. These are the three variations of doing the dips that I found very interesting, and if you can't always train with the exercise, since it will require you to have a dip bar, then you can also go for the third way, which will be the explosive push-up. All you have to do for this exercise is when you are pushing up, try to do it with all your strength, and to gain more momentum for that, you can hold here for a bit. This movement will also have a different variation that you can try, which could be the clap push-up. It is going to be a little harder than the regular version since you will have to do the movements continuously. Therefore, I would recommend you train with them consistently and let's set a goal for 10 reps of 3 sets for each variation. For a second category, which will be the pull-up, it's going to be the most challenging type out of the three especially for those of you who are starting calisthenics because mostly all of the pull exercises will require you to train with your entire body weight right from the start, while the regular push-up and the abs exercises will only focus on the weight of your upper body. So if you are currently struggling with the pull-ups, then I would recommend you first get comfortable with the pull-up bar, and you can do that by just simply trying it out with exercises like hanging and swinging on the bar. Then after that, you can start to do some of the first pull variations, such as the Australian pull-up, scapular pull-up, and finally the negative pull-up to build up the strength for your pull workout. And once you have mastered the pull-up movement, which is to go up until your head is over the bar and straighten your arms when going down, you can then level it up by training with the high pull-up. This could be similar to the explosive push-up, so just try your best to pull up with all your strength. And now instead of just setting the goal of reaching your head over the bar, you will first try to reach your chest and then your belly to the pull up bar. By training with this exercise constantly, you will be able to gain the strength for the muscle up, which will be one of the first advanced exercises in calisthenics. And since the high pull up will consume a lot of your strength, you should first only go for 5 reps per set, and then you can raise it up gradually. Finally, the third way to increase more strength is to improve our abs exercises. My main goal on this training day is besides allowing my abs to be visible, I am also focusing on gaining its strength since it will be one of the main muscle groups contributing to further training. 
The exercise that I focus on the most when doing abs workout is the lion leg raise movements. And to level up this exercise, I would often train them with the pull-up bar or the dip bar. And by that, I would be able to build my shoulder strength and form muscles at the same time. One tip I would suggest you follow when training with the equipment is to focus on controlling your body and maintaining it in the same position. Because if your body is moving around and you do the movements, you will unconsciously use that momentum and make the workout less effective. Another exercise that I always go for on this day is the plank hold. And after you have got used to it, you can then try out the next two ways of training, in which you will extend your elbow to a further position like this. Training the plank in these two ways will be a bit more challenging. However, in return, you will be able to gain your strength faster for your calisthenics journey. And that will be the third and final way that I want to share with you guys. Keep in mind that these three training types are the fundamentals of calisthenics, so make sure to train with them equally and also have rest days so you will have time to heal and recover. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like and subscribe button and you might want to check out this video where I talk about the three things to do if you are starting calisthenics. Well then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay workout and we'll see you in the next one.